Oh my life. Did those damn things respawn as well? Oh, they most certainly did. Hey, what's up my fellow gamers? It's Nabbles and welcome back to Scars Above. So, I may be uh, a bit bright over here. That's due to the uh, transit uh, system that we finally got operational. And well, we are now close to reaching the main facility. So yeah, that is something that we did in the previous episode. We activated the uh, transit system and we also finally killed the, uh, the construct, that big scorpion. That was the second fight that we had against it and we killed it. So that is pretty good. That won't bother us anymore. Um, so yeah, we're now just uh, going to proceed. Hopefully we're going to be uh, finding our teammates soon. Just looking around to see if there are some goodies or some things These like this we can touch. Controlling the door. There's something written on it. Hmm. Can we read it? It seems the lock is designed to respond to a matching DNA signature. Hmm. Probably not ours. Uh maybe Mr. Jefferson. Need something that contains a matching hmm. DNA signature. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah, okay. So we need to find something to open this door, apparently. Okay, so that's awesome. So we are this close to, I don't know, going where we have to go. Uh, but yeah, we can't open the door. Also, these floating rocks are a bit weird. Our genes and the genes of every encountered life form in the universe hold specific data strings hidden at the molecular level. We call this data simply the code, the code of life. It may explain our purpose, or it could contain a unified theory of all life. Maybe it could even be a message from some divine creator. But perhaps some messages are not meant to be read. Only a few months ago, we got proof that alien life exists, and now it turns out that genes across the universe hold some mysterious code? I, I can't even begin to process it all. Yeah, I can imagine. That is something else. Alright, we got a knowledge cube. That is good. Uh, okay, so the objective changed again. We now have to reach the coordinates of the transmission. Maybe that already changed earlier, but I only just noticed uh, noticed it. What the hell is that? Please don't be something terrible. Okay, quite a few knowledge cubes. We have two points available. Uh, was there something that we can still upgrade with only two points? I think there was. Uh, this one, pulse scanner, gets an attachment, can now highlight all interactive objects and resources in the area. Uh, I don't really use melee all that often. Um, I'm, 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 I'm sure, why not? Let's use the scanner. So yeah, everything you can touch will now also highlight. So yeah, as you can see, those doors and those doors lit up. So yeah, if you're completely stuck, then that may be useful. But usually there is an indicator on something if you can interact with it. Oh man, that is really looking terrible. Very terrible. Please just stay dormant. The custodian has a singular goal. To uncover the code. But the code can only be deciphered through countless cellular permutations. Finding a sufficient number of variations in the universe would be impossible. Creating multiple iterations with what is available, however, that is more manageable. He turned our facilities into genetic laboratories. He created nanomachines to induce and control cellular mutations. So all these monstrous creatures are the result of Custodian's genetic experimentation. Hmm, okay. Yeah, genetic experiments usually don't end well. Oh man. 
Can we just kill this thing now it's sleeping? That would be nice. Man, look at all this crap. They are annoying because they have given me countless heart attacks. Okay, that's interactable. Uh, I'm gonna wait a second. Oh, the rocks are just, I don't know, they are moving out of my way. That's good. Clearing a path so that I, that I don't trip. What are you? I haven't encountered these things before. I hope it stays that way. Hmm. You saying that? Eh, that's probably not gonna happen. We're uh, probably going to encounter them very soon. Also, why do those bigger creatures all have so much ass in my life? Okay. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. How do I do uh, this one? Okay. That's what we need. Poison damage. Alright. There we go. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Haven't used that shotgun that often yet. Okay, so we're gonna take the lift or the elevator down. To wherever. That kind of scared me. Um, oh my life. Oh my life. Ow. Holy shit. Shit. You bastard. God damn it all the hell. <laughs> they do quite some damage and I can tell you they don't miss. Cheese Louise. Yeah and as you saw uh, that's also uh, something that we uh, encountered or noticed in the previous episode. This uh, shotgun the ammo that you shoot, the bullets, the uh, poison bullets, they spread quite a lot. So you gotta uh, really get up close and personal to uh, uh, make it effective. Okay, we still don't have any DNA samples, so we can't do anything. Man, more weird things. Man, this is just this nasty. It looks like when the custodian couldn't find what he was looking for in less developed species, he decided to try with more sentient subjects. He experimented on your kind? That's horrible. All of this is horrible. We tried to resist, but he used the constructs, one of which you encountered, to overcome our best efforts. Hmm, okay. Well, if I can take down a construct on my own, then you probably weren't much of a resistance, to be honest. Unless there were thousands of them, then I can understand. Because they were quite uh, tanky. Alright, before we touch anything else, let's uh, check this. Or scan it. Yeah bloodstream is full of nanomachines which have already caused dramatic cellular mutations the DNA signature seems intact however it could be a way to open the nearby lock hmm okay so what are we gonna do with that do we have DNA or do we just need to code or something hmm do you know I don't know. 
We need a uh, power thingy. Yeah. A power source. And we don't have one. What are you? Hmm. Well, maybe that's, it was a pillar, but new. The control console has no power. Yeah, no shit. I already knew that, but since there's no power source nearby. Or maybe now we can use the DNA code to open a door. I highly doubt it. But we can also touch that thing over there. still don't have anything. We can move the camera around, but... Hmm. I completely missed this console. Maybe I could have yoinked the power out of here and disabled those turrets. There we go. Now we can activate the console over here. Uh, power source. There we go. That's on. If I bring the containment tube to that empty pad on the left, I might be able to open it. Oh. All right. So uh, we pick it up. And we put it down. Uh, we need three open slots. There we go. Oh. Can only move in a certain path. That's fine. There we go. We can also move it up. Wait, what? Um, what is happening? Why am I not able to go that way? Oh. Oh, no. I gotta move it this way, but over here it's blocked. Sure. Let me place it over here. That's fine. Hopefully we are able to lift above that debris. Oh, but what am I doing? We have to... Uh, Oh, we can even put it down over there. Okay, I gotcha. I thought we could go left over here, but that is not possible. Um, we have two. I'm gonna grab you and put you down over here. And we can move these out of the way over here. There we go. We can put that over there in the corner. I like that. And now we can move that one. There we go. That worked. Oh, it's open. Now I can take a blood sample. Its DNA signature might be a match for the lock. Find a way to take a DNA sample. Well, just shoot it to smithereens. That way there's blood all over the place and we can grab it, maybe. There. Oh, okay. Well, that was uh, very easy. Perfect. So we have so we have obtained alien blood sample. So maybe we can now open this door. Here we go. That works. Now have we used it all up, or do we still have some? Um, preserved alien DNA. Okay, so we still have some. Because we can no... We cannot drain this corpse. Nope. 
At least I'm assuming it's a corpse. I don't know. The monsters I've killed. Some of them were once your people, weren't they? I... I am so sorry. They left you no choice. No knowledge is worth this. Yeah, I'm guessing the uh, the other guy tends to disagree. A hologram of the custodian and the metahedron. Are they connected somehow? Yeah, of course. How else did you get here? We went to uh, explore that uh, pyramid in the uh, in the sky, well, in the sky in space, and then we ended up on this godforsaken planet. So they are probably connected, yeah. Earth. Earth. He turned to Earth. He brought us here. Yep. That was very obvious. Uh, okay, so there are now two ways to go. E. Hold the view. Wow. Okay, very interesting. Um, not sure if we can go that way. Okay, this looks a bit more promising, but for some reason also more dangerous. I don't know. Um, yeah, there was nothing that we can do over there. We could try this uh, console or this terminal over here, see if it works with the uh, alien blood. We need a power source. I have to go back to get the uh, other power source. Okay, that works. Some sort of a storage area or knowledge cubes. Okay, we have three ability points available, so we can do another upgrade. Um, can I go back? I'm not sure if it's possible to grab the other power source. But I definitely want to try. So that should be here. Seems like we can grab it. Yes, we can. Perfect. Hopefully that didn't close the door. Nope, that was only to power that console. So that's good. Take the power source with us. Also, uh, let's uh, have a quick look at the abilities that we can upgrade. Uh, what's this? Consumables are engineered to have an additional effect using non-healing consumables. Use 20% of her health. Successfully performing rapid reload on any weapon reloads all weapons. Oh, well, that could be very in uh, very handy. Can resist one killing blow. Gains one additional health charge. Um, that is also handy. I am very fond of more HP and healing items because uh, I tend to get hit sometimes quite a lot. <laughs> um, let's see, so we can use the uh, power source over there. But let's also check this room, maybe. Mm, I'm 
not really sure. I'm not really sure if I want to go this way. Please don't block. Perfect. Oh man, I have to sneeze. What the hell is this? That's me. Special status. Control variable. What does that mean? Why do I have a special status? Maybe because you're a pain in the ass to him. Who are you? One of our teammates? It seems the experimentation hasn't started on Tamara yet. Oh, that's Tamara, okay. I intend to keep it that way. That's good. I'm gonna grab that uh, beeping thing later. That's Robinson. Or the other one? Stage three complete. He's taken samples from Robinson's body. Or rather the thing his body turned into. I'm so sorry, Richard. Yeah, he turned into that big uh, boss thing. Yeah, this one. Oh, Christ almighty, that scared the living shit out of me all my life. Experiment stage two in progress. It must be the mutation. I have to stop this. I'm not gonna let that thing turn Mike into one of these creatures. Yeah, Mike is still in uh, in stasis back at the uh, ship. Herpes, Hermes. What are you? These new specimens come from the third planet orbiting a class Quanta yellow star. A developing species of above average sentience and advanced heuristic capabilities. Pre hyper travel technological era. Subject CTET has reached stage 3, and Subject Seahalt is progressing towards it. The remaining subjects are both at stage 0, but something strange about one of them. The system is designating her as a control variable. I will investigate further. Hmm. Control variable. Optional. I see there's an optional... Uh um, objective scan the alien subject which is uh, I don't know where where's the alien subject it's over here this uh, this thing in here no that is uh, mr. Robinson can we go to the right nope Great. Uh, whatever. Then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go this way. Because it seems like uh, that's where we have to go. Because we are getting closer and closer to our destination. Uh, power source, that one. Let's see where this will take us. Carry. Oh. Aha. Okay. That's uh, also interesting. We are now back where we started. So, recording for almost 25 minutes and we are right back where we started the episode. Uh, let's see. We can now open this door because we have the alien uh, blood sample. There we go. noise okay knowledge cube and thermic barrel oh that's nice so that's a thermic charger upgrade 
simultaneous charging. The thermic charger can charge two projectiles simultaneously. That is pretty nice. So, perfect. Um, nothing else is in here. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. Is there something else over here this way? That required the uh, alien blood? I don't think so. Or was there? Oh, I do have to be careful, of course, because those stupid spiders have respawned. Since I touched the uh, pillar, that makes the uh, lesser enemies respawn. So it shouldn't respawn uh, bosses. But the regular enemies, uh, they will respawn. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Scan the alien subject. I still want to uh, check over here. I don't care. Then I will just shoot them again. If they decide to respawn. Hey, where did the... Uh, interactable icon go? Scan him up his ass. That's weird. Over here you can see that uh, blinking uh, thingy or pulsating thing, and I can't do anything. Oh, this These one maybe. These gave me a lot of trouble. I wonder if their ferocious speed is the result of evolution or mutation. Who knows? They were annoying as hell. That's for damn sure. Can I scan? Nope. Oh, knowledge cube that I missed. Have we seen this? I'm stuck. Oh yeah, those are the uh, small spiders. These are the uh, heart attack creatures. This one has already been checked. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Uh, the bats, we have seen those. And... Yeah, one of those uh, creatures that sometimes has the armor on its back. Uh, okay, we can't do anything with the uh, big creatures. Why did you scare me? There we go. Some fiber, other stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to take another trip around. Where we have already been, just to make sure that I don't miss anything. Since we have an optional uh, objective, I do want to uh, do that. Oh my life, did those damn things respawn as well? Oh, they most certainly did. There we go. I was not expecting those things to respawn. Okay. My life. But we did gain another knowledge cube that was over here, so that's good. Um, okay, so over there, there was nothing. Was there? I'm losing my mind. No, there was nothing. Can't do anything with these things. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's I know it's boring that I'm checking all the same things that we have already done. But like I said, I don't want to miss anything. And in the best case, is if you're playing along at home, it can save you the trouble of uh, doing the same thing, of course. Alright, so we're back. Didn't find anything. Well, a few knowledge cubes, but that's about it. Um, so we can proceed. That takes us back to the pillar. I'm gonna go this way. Maybe there's a 
Oh, we now have two optional uh, objectives. Okay, sure. Scan the alien subject. Hit the main up. Oh, okay. Tam! Kate? Kate! Oh, but. She's still alive. You died. I. I saw you die. Tam. Oh, it's so good to see you. I, I can't explain it, Tam. This place keeps bringing me back. You know, at this point, with everything going on, I'll just accept that and be happy that you're alive and kicking. I followed the signal you discovered. I... I, uh, I saw Mike. Yeah, things are not looking good. I tracked the signal to this place, hoping to reverse the process. The room you're in must be some kind of a mainframe. I tried to get in, but I triggered some security system and the place went into lockdown. Everything leads to the room you're in, Kate. It must be the control center for those things in Mike's blood. If they could do all that to him, perhaps they can revert it? I'm on it. How? Even if you find the access point, everything is in this weird alien language. I might have some help there. I can't explain it. Just trust me, okay? Okay. Do whatever you can. Alright, so we have found uh, Tam. Tamara. Where the hell is she? Oh, she's in there, in that room. Is she? Hello? Hmm. She okay, sure. Probably somewhere. Um. Let's have a quick look around. Where is she in here? Hmm. Okay, she is gone with the wind, my friend. Okay, all doors are locked, so we have to touch um, this over here. And I saw something purple over here. Nope, didn't see anything apparently. Let's like touch before, this. Touch the console. I will attempt to stop the mutation on the human and instruct the nano machines to reverse the process. However, if the mutation has crossed into stage three, there is no stopping it, and the reversal is not possible. Please do what you can. I hope it's not too late. Accessing. Sending new instructions. Come on. Anomaly detected. You. I will not let you compromise the experiment. I'm severing connection to Site Vancepta and discarding the facility. What's going on, Kate? What is that voice? The custodian. He's trying to stop us. Do you understand it? What is it saying? Nothing good. Still working. Almost there. Purge protocol initiated. God. Are we dead? <coughs> nope. Oh, where am I? Tam? Tam? Tamara? It, it seems I'm in some kind of cavernous region below the site. I need to find Tamara. Chapter 5 A Scarred Mind. This can't be good. We are in a cave below the site. Oh my life. I doubt anything good uh, will happen over here. Something updated. Underground caves. That's where we are currently. Two points. We need three. There's something in the air. Oh crap. It's hard to breathe. It's 
hard to breathe. So that is probably going to affect our stamina. Let's activate this pillar. Save the game. And end the episode. That's right. I'm going to end it here for today. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget guys, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe as well. Until the next one guys, bye bye.